Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Gary. But don't just sit there, treasures. Come on, let's get busy. Let's get all this breakfast stuff cleared up. Do you get me that tree? Well done, Rachel. You're lovely, aren't you? Thanks, Angel. Oh, and can you pour all the juice into the one cup? Thank you, sweet cheeks. <laughs> that's it. And that's us all tidied up. Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel, but someone's missing from home today. <laughs> Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? It's Samson and Dr. Juno. Hello there! <laughs> Dr. Juno! Oh, and my Samson! Oh, come and say hello to Samson! Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello! Oh, that's a wee nice and gentle. He loves coming here, Granny Murray. Oh, and we love having him. But listen, why don't you two dress up Claude? To your basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, well, we've just had some breakfast. Would Samson like some? Well, Samson's already had his breakfast at home, Granny Murray. Oh, well, Samson, no breakfast for you. You'll just have to wait for snack time like the rest of us. Oh, do you know what we could have done with this morning? A breakfast waiter. <laughs> oh, why don't you dress Claude up as a breakfast waiter? <laughs> well, meanwhile, why don't we wait over there? Good idea. <laughs> Oh, you know, talking of waiters reminds me of dear Mr Donaldson. He was a waiter when I worked in Nicholson's department store. He worked in the restaurant. <laughs> you could get a very good breakfast there, Dr Juno. You know, I advise all my patients to eat breakfast. I really do think it's the most important meal of the day. Oh, I agree. I hope you've had your breakfast. Oh, well, actually, what with getting Samson his breakfast and getting ready for work, I haven't had a chance to eat anything just yet. You should take your own advice. <laughs> now, you sit there and I'll get you some nice tea and toast. <laughs> oh, that's very kind <laughs> of no, you. No, no, no. It'll just take a minute. Here we are, here. There. It's not quite up to Nicholson's standard. But it's yummy all the same. Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> oh! No breakfast for me just yet. Oh, it's a message from Nurse Hendry. I'm needed at work right away. Well, maybe you could eat these on the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I will try. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, great service, Claude. <laughs> well done, my darlings. Claude looks every inch the waiter. What? Bye, Samson. <coughs> Be a good boy for Granny Murray. <laughs> Come on. Just remember, you should take your own advice. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry. How can I get to work quickly? Thank you. I'm in a need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a tramway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lines. Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaker, squeaker, squeaker slows us down. Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street. That's squeaky, squeaky to a stop. I'm in a need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. Ooh, I've arrived. Fab. So, what's next? Oh yes, I've got to put my scrubs on. All scrubbed and ready to go. Oh, I'm not going to have time for this toast, I'm afraid. Morning, Dr. Juno. Did you get my messages about... Updating the patient's files? Yes, thank you, Miss Hendry. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Looks like I'm going to be very busy today. Boo! Boo-hoo! No need to cry. It's only a joke. <laughs> Rudy, I might have known it was you. What are you doing here? I'm just delivering this fruit basket to Annie Holdsworth, a regular customer of mine. Would you like a grape? Annie wouldn't mind. Thanks, but I've got no time to eat anything at the moment. How about a joke, then? Why did the banana go to the doctor's? I don't know. Why did the banana go to the doctor's? Because it wasn't peeling very well. 
<laughs> well, if you don't mind, Rudy, I need to get back to work. No worries, Doc. I'm grateful for your time. I get it. Bye. Bye. I wonder if Samson's having a busy day today. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Woo, well done, Gary. Right, come on, my darlings. That's time for your snack. Everybody come over. Samson. Come on! Let's wipe our hands. That's the stuff because we've been touching lots of things in the park, haven't we? Now, you have some juice flowers. Yes! And time for your snack too, Samson. Oh, good boy. I hope Dr. Juno's getting a snack as well. Oh, hello, Samson. Playing hide-and-seek again, are we? Come in. Only me. Just thought I'd pop in on my way back to the market, see if you like some apples. I thought the fruit basket was for your friend. It was, but she only wanted the grapes. How about a banana? Packed full of energy of bananas. Perfect for folk on the go like you. So long as you don't slip on the banana skin. Thanks, but I'm not going to have any time to eat anything just yet. I'll leave you one just in case you change your mind. I've got to go, OK? Don't work too hard. I'll try not to. Bye-bye. See ya. Talking about work, i better get back to it. It's so exciting in the hospital It's where the people who are ill get well Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there to be Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine. I'll be there whenever I'm needed. Yeah. To hear the heart. That work has given me such an appetite. Three o'clock, snack time. Where's that banana? Oh, I think I better deal with this lot before I eat. Oh, hi, Dr. Juno. Could we have a quick word? Of course, it's lovely to see you. It's just that, well, we're looking for one of the examination rooms, but there's so many, and they all look alike to us. Oh, there's nothing wrong with either of you, is there? Oh no, it's just that we brought a friend of Kai's in, a young boy called Peter. Uh, we left him with Nurse Hendry while we went off to get him a juice and... Peter Howard? Yes, do you know him? I've just finished examining him. He looks much better now. Oh, good. He had a bit of a funny turn, didn't he, Kai? Come through. Hi, Peter. Bobby got lost. Oh, here's your juice, Peter. Now, as you know, Peter has an illness called diabetes. It affects the sugar level in his blood. It's really important that children like Peter keep a close eye on what and when they eat. If he skips a meal and takes his medicine, which I suspect happened today, then he'll be ill. Dizzy. Exactly. As long as Peter takes care and eats regularly, he'll be just fine, just like you and I. I'm waiting on the blood test. If everything goes well, then you can take him home. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Juno. See you later, Peter. <laughs> Bye, Kai. Squash banana! Ugh. I hope you found time to eat something today, Samson. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Oh, well done, my 
darlings. I do like to see people enjoying their food. <laughs> oh. Oh, and you too, Samson. Well done. You've got a healthy appetite. Dr Juno will be pleased. <laughs> I know, Samson. I miss you too. But it's still only four o'clock and I've still got loads to do before we can go home. Oh, there's an email. This should be the test results that Peter's been waiting for. <laughs> Sounds like someone's having fun. <laughs> well, you've got to help the time pass somehow, haven't you, Kai? <laughs> well, there's no need. The test results are back and they're fine. Oh. You can take Peter home. Excellent! Well, that calls for a celebration. Oh. Come here. Doodle 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 doodle. <laughs> oh, 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 I feel quite dizzy. Gosh, are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Um, don't worry, just a spot of tiredness, that's all. Okay, Ooh. well, if you're sure. Yeah, I'm certain. <laughs> Take Peter home. I'll get back to my office. Honestly, I'll be fine. All right, well, bye. Bye bye. Take care. <sighs> what on earth's wrong with me? What have I done today to make me so tired? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop off Samson. The children had just finished breakfast and Granny Murray made me a slice of toast when she found out I'd had no breakfast. But I'd had no time to eat anything as I had to get to work. At eight o'clock, I arrived at the hospital to find masses of paperwork waiting for me. Then Rudy appeared with a huge basket of fruit for a friend of his who was staying in the hospital. She didn't much care for apples and bananas, so Rudy kindly left one for me to eat. At three o'clock, I was about to eat my banana when Bobby and Kai arrived. They had brought a boy called Peter into the hospital. Peter had had a funny turn. I explained that Peter was diabetic and he badly needed some food. At four o'clock, Peter's test results came back. He was fine and Bobby danced me around. That was when I had a funny turn. Gosh, that's what's wrong with me. I'm hungry. I haven't had anything to eat all day. Now remember, you should take your own advice. I must have something to eat straight away. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure, she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm going to do it I'm going to do it I'm going to beat the clock before the chime I'm going to start it She's going to start it I'm going to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song! I feel so much better already. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Juno. Hello, Tina. What are you doing here at the hospital? Oh, I've just dropped a patient off in my taxi. <laughs> Ooh. What is that you're eating there? Nice, is it? Just what the doctor ordered. It's the first chance I've had to eat anything all day. Now, you know it never pays to skip a meal. Very sensible advice, Tina. I'll try and follow it from now on. Great. <laughs> oh, I bet Samson never misses a meal. Samson? <laughs> Bye. Oh, thank you for helping to tidy up, girls. Well done. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to you too, Samson. By the time we've got all this cleared up, it'll be time for you to go home. Good boy. <laughs> Doctor Juno, come our way through and you come. Come and see who's here, Samson. Hello, Samson. Oh, good boy. Look at that wagging tail. Oh, he was fabulous. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. You should take your own advice. It saved the day. Oh, oh, oh gracious. Come on now. You'll want to be off. Come on, boy. Come on. 
Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, wigging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, using things and rushing round. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a very smart breakfast waiter today, though he didn't do much serving. The children helped me clear up the breakfast table. Then we had such fun at the park, playing chase with Samson and his frisbee before settling down for a lovely picnic snack. Samson worked up a healthy appetite by the time we'd got back home, so there was no leftovers of his plate after lunch. Everyone helped tidy up the lunch things. Even Samson got in on the act. And as for Dr Juno, she had her breakfast, lunch and dinner all together. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, there's Hope and there's Rachel. But don't just sit there, honey bunches. Let's have some fun. <laughs> in from Granny Murray's shelves. Well done, girls. Oh, thank you, Rachel. So we can have a good look at these. Who knows what that animal's called? A zebra. A zebra. A zebra. <laughs> Clever girl, Rachel. That's right. What about a lion? What does a lion say? <coughs> so let's see if you two can be lions and go right round in a circle before I count to five. <coughs> One, two, three, four, <coughs> five. Well done, girls. Who would like to be a rabbit? Okay, you can be a monkey or a giraffe. A giraffe. Well, we've got Hope and we've got Rachel, but someone's missing from home today. Ah, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Ah, it's Lisa with Raymond. Hello there. Raymond. Hiya, Granny Murray. Oh, Lisa, come away through honey pies and see who's here. <laughs> Look at this, Lisa. You go and join in the fun. That's the way. <laughs> Goodness, it's like a zoo in here. Oh, is Tina still coming round to do the animal face painting with the children later, Raymond? Uh huh. She'll be round between our shifts. Tina loves doing makeup. <laughs> Good. Here, why don't you all make Claude up to look gorgeous? Oh, gorgeous. Don't remind me. Oh, come on, Raymond. Away and tell me all the gossip. <laughs> tell me all. Well. The train company have organised a photo session on my buffy car today. Oh, photos of what? The sandwiches? <laughs> no, photos of me with Edith Budge, the famous jazz singer. It's all to do with advertising the jazz festival. Oh, I love jazz. <laughs> it's cool, man. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> to be honest, Granny Murray, I'm a bit nervous about the photo session. Oh, rubbish, Raymond. You're an actor. You must be used to performing. Acting on the stage is fine, I love it, but just standing still and having my photo taken is a different thing. I feel awkward. Well, whenever I have my photo taken, I just think of cheese and smile. Cheese? Oh, look, Claude's looking gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Claude, you look groovy and hip, like Edith Budge. <laughs> well done, everyone. Oh, move in closer, move in tight, Raymond. Say cheese! Cheese! <laughs> Here you are. Those for me. Thanks, Lisa. Are you going to give us a wee hug? Oh, oh so kind. Well, you have a good day. 
I better get to work. Oh, right, come on, my darling. I'll see you to the door. Goodbye, Daddy. Remember, whenever I have my photo taken, I just think of cheese and smile. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Thanks, darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> now, will you keep a wee eye on Raymond? Make sure he gets the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? OK, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Left! OK, left to the station I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away Hello, taxi. Hello, tank. Hello, trolley. Hello, plank. Hello, lorry. Hello, bank. He's on his way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Up! Told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Phew. Here we are. So what now? Ah yes. I have to get changed into my smart uniform. All snazzy and ready to go. Now there's just enough time to jazz the place up a bit for my special guest. <laughs> first things first. Come and see the Jazz Festival. <laughs> looking good, Raymond, looking good. Oh, I nearly forgot the party food for the photo session. Hey, Raimundo. Oh. oh, something smells good. <laughs> oh, hello, Rudy. I'm sorry you can't touch. I'm saving these for the photo session with Edith Budge. <laughs> Edith Budge, she's such a cool cat. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Louis said she'd be along in a bit with her trumpet, but I thought I'd bring some flowers just to welcome Edith. Oh, thanks, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love all that jazz. All that. Do ba do ba 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 do ba do ba 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 do ba do ba 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 do ba do ba 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 I think we're off, Rudy. Yep, I'd best dash. I'll see you later, Raymond. See you, Rudy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bang on time. <laughs> I wonder how Lisa's doing. I love to skip in rivers evening, go rivers evening, go by the sea. I love to skip in rivers evening, go rivers evening, go that's for me. I'll see you soon, Angel. Oh, good girl. Bye-bye. I wish I could be a fly on the wall to see Lisa at nursery. Come on, guys! Daddy. Oh, Louis! <laughs> what can I get you? I'm all ears. I can see that. Eh? Oh! <laughs> so, um, a cup of tea? No thanks, Raymond. Just a bottle of water. I need something to keep my lips from being too dry when I'm playing the trumpet. <laughs> oh yeah, Rudy said you'd be along. You've come to be in the photo with Edith Budge, I hope. Yep, and then I'm hoping we'll have time to have a quick blast of jazz. Oh, that would be cool, a uh, dog. Or is it cat? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Louie, could you perhaps go and practice somewhere else? Sure thing, Daddy-o. 
Stay cool. Daddy O? <laughs> right. It's time to get down to some hard work. I love my train. I love to do chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, making special moments on my way. I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast. Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Being nice is what I love the most. Take two steps, I'm looking fine. So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help you clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to this way. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Pulling into the station, so Edith Budge will be here any second. <laughs> Edith, darling, it's been ages. <laughs> you remember me, I hope. Oh, we were in that musical play together, uh, The Dancing Donkeys. Oh, you had star stamped all over you. <laughs> now, I thought these flowers would look lovely in the back of the photograph. My good friend Rudy dropped them off, especially for you. <laughs> He's a big fan of yours, actually. Oh, I promised him your autograph. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, I'm forgetting myself. Would you like to go and freshen up before the photograph? Oh, well, not that you need to. I mean, you look wonderful as you are. <laughs> oh, what a star she is. I wonder how my wee star is doing. I love to skip in River Sea Pingo, River Sea Pingo, that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> we whiskers. Maybe dots. Whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic, Tina. Here, you're a dab hand with a face painting. Oh well, it's it's all the makeup I do for the theatre shows. Oh. <laughs> do you like tigers, Lisa? Mm. <laughs> yes, it does. If only your dad could see you now. Oh, I know. <laughs> what are you doing on your train, Daddy? Now, Louie, if you could just stand there. Uh -huh. Oh, Mr. Photographer. Now, it's important that you get these flowers in the background of the shot when you take the photo. Oh, and this poster. So if you could just um, move back a bit, uh, left a bit. Oh, no, right a touch. Uh, oh, <laughs> Edith, you look ravishing. <laughs> if we could just have you over here in the middle, uh, that would be fine. Now, uh, uh -huh. uh, now Mr. Photographer, uh, Louie. <laughs> You're about to have your picture taken, and all you can do is give me funny looks. What is the matter? Check out your reflection, dude. Eh? I'm covered in lipstick. Look at the state of me. I'm about to have my photo taken with the great Edith Budge, and I look a big mess. How did this happen? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop off Lisa. I told Granny Murray about the photo session with Edith Budge, the famous jazz singer. At 8 o'clock I arrived at work and got the buffet car ready for the photo session. Rudy dropped in some flowers for Edith Budge because he wanted me to get her autograph. We were cool cats and sang a bit of jazz together. At 10 o'clock Louie practised her trumpet in the buffet car. She was so loud I couldn't hear the other customers. At 12 o'clock we pulled into the station and Edith Budge joined the train. She was really pleased to see me and gave me a big kiss with her red lips. I showed her Rudy's flowers and got her autograph. And then she kissed me again. So that's how I must have got the lipstick all over my face. At one o'clock it was time for the photo session and I was in no fit state to have my photo taken because Edith had plastered me with lipstick. Now remember, 
Whenever I have my photo taken, I just think of cheese and smile. Cheese. Keep smiling. Of course. Hold it right there, Mr. Photographer. Before we go any further, it's time for a cheese snack. <laughs> and I need to switch a few things around. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? Yes, for sure, as we are friends, he will get there in the end. Because he knows what he should do. I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it He's going to start it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Yes, you can take the photo now <laughs> oh, And relax, oh, well done everyone <laughs> And thanks Edith Is there any chance you could... I mean it would just be such a privilege You have such a wonderful voice Take it away Louis what a day this has been, such a rare mood I'm in It's almost like being in love And from the way that I feel, that big bell will peel Watch how we're swinging, dig all that swing and sing And it's almost like being in love <laughs> Right, my darlings, I'll squeeze in tight, say cheese and smile, dumplings. <laughs> oh, oh, what a brilliant photo! Your daddy would never recognise you, Lisa. There's your dad back from work. Oh, <laughs> will you look at your face, Raymond? <laughs> eh? Oh, <laughs> I think I need some of those face wipes too, Granny. Was that part of the photo shoot? <laughs> oh, there. Thanks. Right, let's go up the road, shall we? <laughs> Come on, then. Come on, let's have a go, Daddy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bye-bye, my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed up to look gorgeous because Tina was coming to make us all up. Then we took Lisa to her nursery for the morning. She wore animal ears and pretended to be animals with all her friends. At lunchtime Tina finished work in her taxi and came round to do face painting with the children. She turned them all into animals and while Tina was putting makeup on the children's faces, Edith Budge was putting makeup all over Raymond's face with big smacky kisses. <laughs> Do you think I look like a cool jazz cat? <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Peter and we've got Ruby. But don't just sit there, my darlings. Come on, let's have some fun. <laughs> What's Granny Murray got on her shelves today? <gasps> Look at you, gorgeous girl. Would you like it? Whoa, a wee sash. <gasps> don't you look cute? Handsome prince. Angle, what about like this? You love dressing up? Me too! La 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 <laughs> Now, 
We've got Peter and we've got Ruby. But someone's missing from home today. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Lisa. Yes, with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> Hi, Granny Murray. <laughs> Come on, we've three honey pies and see everyone. Oh, some very cool outfits. <laughs> Ma, aren't they, Lisa? <laughs> I bet the outfits at the fashion show this afternoon won't be a patch in those. Oh, I know. Listen, darlings, why don't you wee fashion designers go over and <laughs> dress Claude up in something fabulous? <laughs> Oh, thanks, darling. Oh, Granny Murray, can I borrow that sometime? Of course you can. Oh. <laughs> but first, let's walk up to the catwalkie and you can tell me all about your fashion show. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fashion show is at the Riversea College of Art and Design and Raymond has been asked to introduce it. Oh, that's so exciting. <gasps> oh, I love glamorous dresses, don't you, I Tina? I certainly do. Oh, that reminds me, Granny Murray. Could you do me a favour? Could you take Lisa shopping for a new dress? Oh, yes, I'd love to take Lisa shopping. <laughs> She's taken such a stretch recently, and all her dresses are too small. Oh, one of those dresses with the ruffles. That'd be nice. Oh, or what about ones with bows all over it in Lisa's favourite colour? Oh, I'll trust you to get it right, Granny Murray. Oh, I say, have you seen young Claude over there? Oh, Tina. <laughs> Oh, Claude, you look like a star. He's the height of fashion, you know. <laughs> well, I'd better head off. Oh, is that for me, Lisa? Well, thank you, but you see, my bag's really full. I don't think I'll have any room for it. Oh, give it here. Mm -hmm. I'll show you a wee trick. That's the way neat goes small. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Come on then. <laughs> now remember, neat goes small. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. <laughs> we'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, will you keep a wee eye on Tina? Make sure she gets the right way to work. I'd better hurry. What would be the quickest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnels. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter on the streets, no squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 I'm in a hurry. I need to speak to work. Phew! Now what? Of course! I have to get dressed for work. <laughs> When there's constabulary duty to be done, to be done, a policeman's lot is not an happy one. Happy one. <coughs> oh, <laughs> hi, Rudy. Hey, Tina. Oh, what do you have there then, Rudy? <laughs> Something a little bit special. Oh, you shouldn't have brought me flowers. Um, Tina, the, the flowers, they're not for you. They're for Raymond. I, I just thought, as it was his special day, I thought, you know, Raymond might like a flower for his buttonhole. Very kind of you, Rudy. I'll, I'll make sure he gets it. <laughs> and of course, the rest of the flowers are for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Rudy. Oh, here. You must have a flower for your buttonhole, too. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, before you go, I must show you this. <laughs> it's a turban that Lisa insisted I bring to work with me. Wow, very expensive material. I bet you this really suits you. Mm. Does actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I'd best get back to the stall. I've got somebody looking after it for me. Oh, okay. And thanks again for the flowers, Rudy. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I wonder how my wee Lisa is. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. Oh, bless of a wee.
we look in this window? Oh, look at that pink top, Lisa. Here's your pink bag. Look at those high heels. Oh, your mum would love those shoes. Here's a pink belly. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, wow. We'll need to tell your mum about this shop, won't we? <laughs> Love. I thought I would never get away on time today. Mm -hmm. I've got to get ready for the fashion show. <laughs> You'd better get a move on. Your stuff's all ready and I'm away to work now. Bye, love. <laughs> City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The trucks keep on trapping and the city roads are waiting for me to take a drive in my She's going for a drive. Look in the mirror, shift that gear. Pull out to the busy lane, my pretty big taxi takes the strain. Oh, the radio calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi, oh. In a city, in my pretty pink taxi, yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. Ride, 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 hey, where you wanna go? Cause I need to take a drive in my pretty pink taxi. People wave me down and relax for the ride. You, Raymond, you look <laughs> fantastic. Well, I may look fantastic, but I sound terrible. This fashion stuff isn't easy, you know. Mm. Oh, I'll never be able to pull this off today. Of course you will, love. All you need is... practice. Oh, but Tina, the fashion show is today. How will I ever get practice? I know. We'll pretend that I'm in a fashion show and you talk about what I'm wearing. <gasps> easy! <laughs> Our first model this afternoon is the lovely Tina. Ooh, a taste of the Orient. <laughs> Complete with turban and swishy dress. <laughs> oh, well done, Raymond. You did it. <laughs> All with the help of the lovely Tina. <laughs> oh, I wonder how Lisa's fashion show is going. Do you like this, Lisa? <laughs> I think that might be a wee bit wee for you. Look at this skirt. Oh, it matches. Oh, it's gorgeous. But a wee baby. <laughs> Do you know what that says? What is yes. it? Yes. Clever ghetto. They're a pretty dress. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, let's try these on. Give us a twirl. Oh, Lisa, you look lovely. <laughs> I wonder if your mum would like that one best. Hey, darling. Right, you lot, into that taxi. There's no time to lose. <laughs> yes, this is Tina. The college. Yes. College. You still got the costumes there. And you want me to pick them up and take them to the town hall on the other side of town? Of course. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. If we don't pick up the costumes and take them across the town, there'll be no show. Come on. <laughs> 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 
then you two, then we can get more in. <laughs> Squeeze up a bit, Chuck. Ooh. Tina, this is hopeless. It's almost 4pm. How are we going to get all this stuff into the taxi and get to the fashion show on time? Oh, I can't believe it. I've worked so hard all day to get to the fashion show on time and make sure everything runs smoothly. And now here we are on the wrong side of town. Where did the time go? At 8 o'clock, I dropped Lisa off at Granny Murray's. The children made Claude a wonderful fashion show outfit. At 9 o'clock, I arrived at work. At 10 o'clock, Rudy dropped into the garage with some flowers. Sadly, not for me, but for Raymond's buttonhole. Raymond is introducing a fashion show tonight. Rudy was very sweet and gave me the rest of the flowers to keep. At 11 o'clock, Raymond arrived home from work a bit flustered. At 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock, I was busy working. At 2 o'clock, when I arrived back at the garage, Louis, Chuck and Raymond were all practising for the fashion show. I helped Raymond practise his presentation. At 3 o'clock, I was just ordering Louis, Chuck and Raymond into the taxi to go to the fashion show when I had a phone call from the college. They wanted me to collect all the costumes at the college and take them across town to the town hall where the fashion show was to be held. We had just managed to get through the busy traffic to the college. There were lots of outfits there and no matter how hard Raymond tried to stuff them into the taxi, they wouldn't fit. So now we're on the wrong side of town and the show starts in a minute. Now remember, neat goes small. Neat goes small. Of course. Raymond, stop. I think I might just have the answer. It's time for us to tidy up our act a bit, Raymond. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm going to do it. She's going to do it. I'm going to beat the Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Riversea College of Art and Design Fashion Show. <laughs> now, I'd like to invite our last model of the day onto the stage, my lovely wife and model extraordinaire, Tina. With the ultimate and neat Go Small accessories. Here comes our very own lovely model, Lisa. Give us a twiddle. <laughs> oh, you look beautiful, my darling. Well, we'd better get that dress off and put it back in your bag, eh? Mum will be here soon. Come on, my treasure. Well done. Look who's here, Lisa. <laughs> oh, hi, Lise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mummy. Oh, did you have a good day with Granny Murray? You betcha. Will you say <laughs> thanks to Granny Murray? Come here, my <laughs> flower. Oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Neat goes small. <laughs> it saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> 
That's a good girl. Bye, my darling. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in some amazing clothes because Raymond was going to present a fashion show. Lisa and I had a fashion packed day. We went to town and did a bit of window shopping. We looked at lots of outfits, some Lisa liked and some she didn't. Eventually we found the perfect dress for Lisa. When we came back home, Lisa became a fashion model and showed off her new dress, just like her mummy Tina was doing in the fashion show. What a lot we packed in today. It just goes to show, neat goes small, don't you think? Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love to sip.